Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a LEGO City 2022 set review. Today we are looking at set number 60328, the Beach Lifeguard Station, which has 211 pieces and is retailing for $39.99 USD or $49.99 Canadian. This became available beginning on January the 1st of 2022. And this set is really adorable. I love the road plate system. I think it's really great. Personally, I know that a lot of people aren't a fan of it, but I like how now we're going to different environments. Really, I think this is for the first time. We've really only had sets based in the city, and now we're kind of just branching on out to the outer edges in the beach. So I think that's really cool and how you can connect that to other different city sets and all that so let me know if you want me to go out i will go and get every single building one so we can have like a giant city just to see what all the 2022 sets get you but anyways let's go ahead let's jump on into this set so here is the main build and it's a nice little beach facade i think it looks great you can see how the road plates here um how that is meant to connect to the rest of the city sets that you can get so yeah it's really cool. So if you don't know how the road plate system works, you can actually remove this here and then bring another plate here and use one of these two by four tiles there to connect it and expand and make like a road system. Now included in every single set that has a road plate is actually a little pole here so that you can always do this. You actually can push through the hole at the bottom and completely break everything but you can push that out so that you could replace it let's say with like some of these tiles have lines and stuff like that for you to have like markings on the floor now what happened there was just it, there was a lot of loose stuff so it, it didn't really break anything it was just like surfboards fell out but let me put it back i don't know i just always find that fascinating that they're including something to uh poke through the hole there and push that out so uh, let's go through this all now closer over here we've got uh, a little turtle beach section there which is pretty cute i really love how you've got that there uh like the turtle eggs and just this little like nest that they've created so yeah you also get a little turtle which we'll take a closer look at but i just like the story that it's telling there and speaking of story that's being told um you've got here a garbage can and what you're meant to do here is with the little girl you can actually have her picking up some trash and putting it inside there so i don't know you know like mr b's team c's <laughs> maybe she's helping with that but also included is like chopsticks i'm not entirely sure why i thought maybe they were like sewing needles there while the mom's watching her on the beach maybe that's what she's doing she could be doing that if she's not on her phone um but it also could just be like garbage left over from someone having like a sushi picnic or something on the beach so i just thought that i'd mention that this little lawn chair there, the, the beach chair that can angle up and down if you want to relax a little bit more. The tree here, you can angle it and, and position it however that you want. You can uh, open the palm trees up a little bit more if you want. Uh, there's no coconuts or anything attached on the back there, which is a shame. I think that's just fun little details that they put in other sets. But coming on over here to the back, you do have like the rental shop here where you could rent a paddle board. Um, so that's neat. You've got a sand green one as well as a lime green one. I guess they could also be surfboards, but you have the paddles here as well. Also included are these little life jackets. And I think there's a total of, yes, there's a total of three of them if I dump that out. So you get three of these life jackets as well as this helmet for when the lifeguard is actually using the ATV, for when the driver is actually using uh, the ATV. Now, I thought that you could put it through there in the back, but you actually can't. It stops it. So, yeah, you've got that little garage there specifically for this, and it's a cute little like thing. I, I like that it actually can't go through the back there. It's too big uh, with the wheels, so I, th I think that's a pretty smart choice there so that it doesn't fall out like when you're traveling with it. If you make your way up the ladder, you can see there's a little life preserver there, a little buoy, as well as some binoculars on the stand. Now, I thought that it was like, you know, I, I thought that was meant to be like in place there. But on the box, it actually shows that the lifeguard actually removes it and uses it like a regular pair of binoculars. And uh, yeah, I like how you've got all these different spots here. Maybe if you've got some seagulls or something from another set, you could put them up top. And then up here, you've also got these big speakers as well as a microphone inside there which I guess they're just like shouting like you're going too far, you're going out of bounds or whatever. So that's pretty cool. On the inside there, you've got this little sticker, which is actually, I think that's meant to be like the map. 
of Lego City, or at least the beach section there, so that's cool. As well as a little radar, I guess, of any boats and stuff like that in the water. Not sure why the skeleton foot piece is being used there, that's a little weird. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you've got the microphone stand there, as well as a seat to sit down and uh, just look at the radar and all that. No sticker here on the other side. So here's the ATV up close, and I like the color scheme of it, how it actually is like the same color scheme that the lifeguard station is. So I think that's a cool little attention to detail. So yeah, you could take your lifeguard there and actually attach him there and have him sitting inside. In the back, you've got a little walkie-talkie there. I guess that's to communicate with other lifeguards, although there isn't one included in the set. I think that would have been cool to have another one. And then in the back there, you've got like one of their little... Um, they're little floaties. I don't know what the specific name is, but it's like when they're going out to sea and then uh, they can have like the person who's drowning or whatever grab onto that as well. It just helps them float. So yeah, it drives really smooth and uh, all terrain, you know, it, it has to. So pretty cool. And here's the little ice cream cart. I think it's really cute. This like half bike there that they've introduced a while ago, I think is really interesting. So you could, you could pedal around there. So you could take your minifigure and have them pedal this around, which I think is really interesting. I love the sticker here, how that is repeated on each side. I think that looks really cool with like the Lego ice cream cone as well as just the color scheme of that with the pink and the white and how you can see the pink and white up top here. Um, there's nothing on the inside here, but I'm assuming that's like where you get the scoops from. So you could technically, you know, have this removed from the top of the ice cream cone if it decides to work with me. So yeah, it's pretty cool. This piece was introduced, I think it was last year actually. So it, it's fun to see it back. Maybe it was the year before, I don't know. But it's a pretty new piece, so we've got a chocolate scoop and a vanilla scoop there, as well as a little cash register there. And then over here, I think that's meant to be like where you store the spoon, where you keep it in warm water. The figures are great and all, but I just want to start with the animals. You got the turtle piece here from last year's minifigure series. Recolored, though, with a, I think that's dark red. It's hard to tell. Um, let me, uh, yeah, it's dark red. It's, it's cool that it's dark red and tan. I think that's a cool color scheme. It looks brown in some colors but uh, in some lighting i mean so yeah it's, it's really adorable i love this piece and then also included is the red crab which is nothing new here for lego and here is the ice cream guy and i i think that this figure is awesome this new piece that they created for 2022 is just insane it does actually appear in another set in two different colors and uh, it's used in a police chase and What's interesting is that there's actually another little ice cream sort of vendor or whatever that appears in the police station in the exact same green. So you could take this and have him join the other two ice cream villains. Anyways, we're here to talk about this set though and it's awesome. Like I love this piece. It's so, so detailed. I think it's absolutely incredible. But removing it here, you can see underneath he's actually sweating, which I think is pretty funny because, you know, he's wearing like... He's wearing pants, he's he's got like a hoodie on, it is sleeveless, but then he's got this huge costume on, so I just think that that's really funny, and that he's also selling ice cream to be cool, but it's not keeping him cool enough, so this is just funny. The torso isn't new, I don't believe. And here's a little girl, I love her little swimsuit, it's so cool, The just the design of it, and the little jellyfish on the front, I think that's really adorable with the sunglasses and all that. And again, it's cool that she's helping cleaning up the beach, I like the dual molded legs there, the turquoise as well as, or teal sorry, and the yellow legs I think is cool. And the face and the hair, I love the hair in this color, and I, it's just such a smart recolor here you know hopefully we get this in even more colors i think that's so cool spinning around here on the back she does have this shocked expression as well and here is the mum and i think that uh it, it's a really awesome looking figure i love the bathing suit here that she's got with the avocados and uh, i think that's really fun it's just it, i don't know it's just fun to see these different colors now it is actually printed there on the legs, and you can see that how yellow is kind of going through the lime green, so that's a bit of a shame, but she does come with a cell phone as well. She's got some sunglasses on. I love the hairpiece here being used. I think that's awesome to see it in, in more and more sets. The hairpiece here was actually introduced in a minifigure series. I think it was, it was last year or the year before. I don't know. The whole pandemic has me really thrown off with like when stuff came out, but yeah, awesome to see back, and then you've got this face print here with just a generic smile. And then lastly here we have the lifeguard and Jang's patrolling the beach here, which uh, I, I still think it's crazy that we're still getting this face this many years later. But uh, yeah, I guess he's he's been out in the sun a lot. His hair's gone 
uh, blonde, but I love the torso printing there with the whistles. I think that's really great. And you've got like the little lifeguard logo there on the back. What I love is, by the way, just the dual molded legs when they were created, it has just helped like beach sets tenfold because back in the day, they would have had to, you know, been wearing like a Speedo. So it's cool that now we can have regular swim shorts on. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the Beach Lifeguard Station. I think that this is a really great city set. Even if you don't want to connect it to other parts of your city with the road plate system, I think it's still a really great addition to anyone's city. I think that uh, it's great to have a beach facade. And I like all the animals that you're getting in the set. I like the story that you're telling here as well as the figures. I think all four of them are excellent figures. So really, really awesome set. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think of it? Let me know what city sets you want to see me go out and review and do next. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.